Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. Welcome to HICE 205 lecture series. This video for number 2 on the Excel logical function. The usual fun uh, logical function that we use in Excel is called if function. So if function is actually a logical function that we use to uh, make decisions based on the conditions that we set. Um, the condition usually we set uh, have a result or in bad boolean values, which is whether it's true or false. Um, this true and false value is actually simple. Uh, to be understood uh, by the users. So it lends more flexibility uh, for the results. The if function syntax for the formula is equals to if uh, the bracket logical test, comma, the value if it's true, comma, and the value if false, and you must close the bracket. So these are the function formula for if function. So the if function actually has three arguments. And the first two are the one who are to be required. But the first argument a logical test means that the data is interrogated whether um, it is true or false means that it's a conditions that we set uh, for the, the test. And the second argument, if the value is written, let's say, a true, then what is the result? Uh, and the last one, the third argument is, when the value or, or the condition is false, so what is the result? So actually the first and the second is uh, are required by this um, first formula. Let's say we have an example, a computerized driving test result. So we want to know whether this candidate is pass or fail. So we can use the is function to tell us which of these candidates is a pass. So the requirement, let's say the, the condition that we set for a pass is a minimum mark of 85. It means that you need to have 85 or more the marks so that you can pass. Otherwise, you will be fair. That's the formula that we should write on the cell D4 in that particular um, example. So at D4, we should write the formula with the if functions equal if open bracket C4, that is the cell that we need to interrogate. The C4, uh, the marks belong to Rasida Awaka, right? So if the C4 is small or equal, because it says minimum, so the 85 is should be included. So more or and equal. So you, you can see that mathematical symbol there, more equal. 85, comma, pass in inverted comma, and comma, and and the pass is actually, if it is true, it means that the condition is met. The C4 is more than 85, 85 or more, so it will be passed. Also, otherwise, if uh, the C4 um, less than 85, then the result should be given as a fail. However, um, Excel has simplified for you because probably you didn't even remember how to write uh, the formula 
So do not worry. So the Excel has simplified for you. You just um, <coughs> gotta try to uh, click or uh, find the insert function where from the menu uh, bar uh, above it. Click the tab formula and click add insert function or you can just click the insert function icon at the formula bar. So once you click that, so you will um, find the, uh, uh, a, a list of formula or function uh, that you can choose. So you choose the if function that you can see that I F. Then you click OK. Then the dialog of if function will appear on your screen. So it's much simpler than you need to memorize the formula. Then you forgot to have the bracket and then you forgot to have the inverted comma or the comma. So it's much hassle for you to memorize the formula. So if you use this uh, if function from insert function, it must be easier. Once uh, the dialog has appeared, so you can put uh, in the logical test box, you just type C4 more equal 85. And the, in what if through box, you just type pass without the inverted comma. Just put PASS and the computer will pick that up. I mean, automatically will put the the inverted comma and the what if files box you just type fail then once you click ok the result should be written as pass even um even though you have haven't clicked the ok button the um the, the if functions dialog already given you the result can see there the form formula results equals to pass so is there, is there any more functions if functions formula yes there are if you have two or more conditions um, for uh, testing the, the item so you can use if with the and or if with the or uh, and if with the not or you can use the nested if however for this video you know, I, I do not want to make it so complicated and you just uh, fall off to sleep during my video so watch out for the next video of mine uh, for the if function where we have a more complicated conditions to be met. So for now, bye-bye.